there. All right, it's actually two days later. I did not make any videos yesterday. Yesterday was one of those whirlwind days where, um, you know, you kind of just go to old habits and you listen to, uh, I don't want to make anything, I don't want a salad, and then you just eat whatever, and that was yesterday. I stayed vegan and everything, but um, it was just like leftover pancakes and um, just whatever was quick in the fridge, you know. And I had some um, some of my kids' chips and a bunch of stuff. I, it was overeating, but it wasn't binging. I just, I ate as much as I needed and then I stopped. But um, I couldn't be bothered to make my smoothie in the morning. And that was really where it kind of started. And then the whole day went that way. So, but I did get a headache and um, I just didn't feel well last night at all. And I don't know if it was from the food or what, but I do see it as a... Um, and this actually happens a lot with me where I don't get sick and then all of a sudden when I start eating like crap then I get sick. As you can hear in my voice I've got some something um, throat lung kind of thing going on which just came up last night so uh, potentially the way I felt last night was from the sickness instead of the food but I'm sure it didn't help. So it's like a lesson. Stop eating this stuff, right? Or just stop eating this way. Um, I ate like rice cakes and you know, just a bunch of like, whatever we had around the house. Um, I don't mind having some of those days, right? Like I actually don't mind having some spontaneity like that. And then what I do, what the one thing that I just follow during those days is just paying attention to whether I'm hungry or whether I've had enough. And that's a skill that we teach in side of my program um and so then you never have to binge you know you just kind of listen to how your body feels and how much you've had and what do you need and when you get really good at that we have a very specific program on how we teach that when you get really good at that it just becomes second nature and binging ends because why would you ever eat more you can just have more at the next meal when you get hungry right um, so that was great. I didn't overeat or anything, but it was, it was probably just too much food. And then this morning I woke up with just the, this thing going on. So I was bummed. I, I didn't go to kickboxing today because I didn't want to get anyone sick. And also I, I felt like I should rest. I got a headache going on. And I'm, I'm working a little bit, but I'm going to take a nap here for a few hours. Um, and then today, so I wanted to share today, I was feeling really crappy. Got up in the morning and this medication that I take for the depression, which is a result of the menopause, which is a result of the hormone treatment from the cancer. It's a very, it's called Effexor. It's a tough antidepressant to be on because if you miss it, like if you're late taking it or if you miss a pill, you, you can't miss a pill because you'll, the, it has these things called brain zaps. Well, I mean, I call them brain zaps where like, if you tip your head one way, it, it, it's like you get this little jolt in your brain. It doesn't hurt. It's just, it's just weird. It just like feels like electricity kind of a thing. You couldn't understand it unless you had it, but it means that I can't possibly miss my medication because um, of the, that's really intense. And so if you want to get off the medication, you have to really titrate down uh, very carefully. But anyways, the point being that this morning when I woke up, I had been taking my medications on time every day, but doing it first thing when I got up. And if I do it first thing when I get up, that means I have to do it first thing when I get up the next morning. I'm like, I can get through the brain zaps if I have to, to push it out a little bit longer, but I, I don't enjoy it. So I took it right away because I wasn't feeling too good. And then also when I get lung stuff, I always start having hot tea with lemon and honey. Um, and so I started that again today, but problem with that there's no protein sorry I'm not holding the camera very well but there's no protein in that so um, it means I get nauseous from my medications so I had to eat something so I went and quick got some um, almonds and then um, I've got two handfuls of those did it Ugh, I'm getting a weird feeling in my brain um, what else did I have I felt like I had something else I don't know I think that's what I had so that I could go take my daughter to school without feeling too weird and nauseous and then when I got back, I felt so tired and drained, but I knew I had a call at 11. It's 12 now. Fast forward, we ended up having to reschedule that call anyway, but it did give me the opportunity to actually take a shower, so I feel better. 
but before I came upstairs, I was like very hungry. I'm like, I gotta eat something. And my nausea isn't quite gone from the pills, so what should I eat? And I started to think along the lines of yesterday of just eat whatever you can find. And I was like, nope. When I'm sick, and I have been thinking about this since yesterday, when I'm sick, what I need is green vegetables. I need good food when I'm sick. And I had just coached a client about this the other day, about just getting it together when you're sick, right? Because we have this idea of, oh, I need to rest, so I just got to eat whatever, you know, I'm not feeling, feeling well. I was thinking about that in the car on the way to my daughter's school, that if that there's an opportunity cost of resting and not eating healthy food, which is you don't you won't get better as fast. You won't have like the body won't have the materials that it needs to get you better. And, so, and then of course all the other opportunity cost of eating bad foods again and getting re addicted in a little bit, you know, for some people a tiny bit, for some others a lot. So I'll, I have these conversation with myself in the head and going, oh, yeah, no, I really do want to make a smoothie. I really do want to eat my, the food that I normally eat. But what that means is I have to like put in a little effort right now. So I envisioned myself going home, getting, you know, pulling the car in the garage, getting into the kitchen and then actually just like a zombie, just making my smoothie. And I've made my smoothie so many times that it was just, it was me just like a zombie, like just making a smoothie and then when I took a drink, I was so happy to have it. I was so glad that I did it. I mean, that I'm not gonna have a food day like yesterday. And it was just a, I'm always talking about the fact that we always have potential energy available to do whatever we need to do. It's always there. It's just, we're telling ourselves we don't. <laughs> that's, all, that's all that happens when we're sick. I mean, for I think back to last year when I had pneumonia and stuff, there are certainly some days where I couldn't do anything that's not the days I'm talking about. I'm talking about when you're just sick, you know, and you don't feel well or you, you have your period and you have cramps, whatever. Like we always have the energy to do, to make a salad, to make a smoothie or to make a quick oatmeal or something like that. It's just, are we going to choose to do it when we're not feeling well? Certainly the pneumonia thing, like if you have that type of a sickness, it doesn't mean you should just go eat crap it means you should find things that are just really fast and easy to eat right like can you get delivered can you have someone help you make it or whatever can you actually ask for help <laughs> Some, somehow right lots of different ways to kind of get that done um but it felt like a huge win for me today because um i really do need to eat well today and just take care of myself naps and things like that so i wanted to share that because that was really important I'm feeling a little bit hungry again already. I feel like, um, I mean, it's noon, so it's been an hour and a half, but um, I'm thinking that today I might just do like a, <clears throat> like I have a sal leftover salad in there that I could eat, so I really should eat that later. So I'll consider that. I mean, I'll plan that, but I have a call at three and then a call at six. And so maybe I'll eat that salad in the middle. Um, and I'm thinking for right now, I'll make some oatmeal so I can have a nice warm, bowl of oatmeal but what I'm what I actually am gonna do is I'm just gonna go to bed and if I if I wake up my daughter's home too because she has pink eye so if she comes and bugs me during my nap that's fine but if I get up in time I'll have some oatmeal but maybe I'll just have oatmeal after my three o'clock call we'll kind of see how it goes but that's the plan is oatmeal and salad and if I eat it all great if I don't fine but I don't need to have anything else because that'll be enough so are you thinking about yourself even when you're sick okay bye <laughs>